Now I'm a big fan of using AI for my development workflow and I'm becoming more and more fond of using Cursor AI. Now I use it mostly for refactoring code or generating small blocks of code to merge into my existing code base. But I also build block themes. Now I generally do them from scratch based on a design. But I was interested to see if I could get Cursor or AI, whatever AI you want to use, to just build a block theme from scratch. And this is what happened. My name's Elliot Richmond. I like to play guitar, eat pizza, and drink coffee. I also make videos for YouTube based on WordPress and WordPress development. So if this is up your street, do consider subscribing. And if you like this video at the end, please do give it a thumbs up. So I've got a script here, which I use for basic installation. Now this is just in a folder where my sites are served from using Valet. So I'm just gonna say, ask Cursor to run this script to set up my site. So but I want to hide some details. So run this script without uh, revealing any database creds. So we're going to use an agent. We're going to use Claude 3.5 Sonnet because I find that that's more stable. 3.7 is a little bit wild. Um, and ChatGPT is just, I wouldn't bother with that. Anyway, uh, so send that. And that's going to fire my script, hopefully. Might ask me to prompt me to do something. Yeah, okay, so I'll just run that command. So now what my script's gonna do is basically download WordPress and set up some details in my uh, my WP config file, which is setting up the my development mode and my environment type. So we have, oh yeah, also it's it setting up my SSL as well, which is why Valley restarted. Okay, so that's finished. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna start a new chat. I don't wanna run that. Now, the first thing here, what I want to do is add a cursor rule because this is kind of like the crux of setting up the project effectively. So you'll notice up here, we've got an invisible folder called cursor and then the rules. So uh, just canceled that. So new cursor rule, and this is going to be project rule rules. And that's just going to name the file. Now it's important to give you your rule a description. So this is just going to be theme creation prompt. And I've got some stuff off screen here that I'm just going to copy and paste in and just sort of like just roughly iterate what they're all about. <clears throat> so this is basically just, you know, create a, a WordPress block theme with the following specifications. So I've got some various specifications here, so I'll paste that in. This is just the theme location, WP content file in the theme folder, and the theme name will be AI build. And I have some other requirements. So structure the theme with the following components. So here I want to make sure that I've got a style sheet, obviously, uh, theme.json, but specifically I want to use version three. Uh, I want to set up a functions.php file just because I think it'll be useful. Um, so I've set up my header and footer parts, and I'm also explicitly saying that the templates I want to create are the index, single, page, archive, and front page. Let me just get some real estate here so that you can see what's going on on the screen. And I've also got some technical requirements as well. So I specifically want the content width to be 900 pixels and the wide width to be two, uh, 1200 pixels. And I want to set my typography. I want to use a system sans serif font. I want to use responsive typography using clamp. Um, fluid size, I want to define fluid font sizes for small body heading and text, uh, sorry, display text. And I have some other design requirements. So I um, want to use the um, accessibility color contrast compliance, ensure that spacing uses clamp as well, maintain a consistent white space, only use core blocks in templates. So don't go wild and start downloading plugins and follow obviously WordPress coding standards. So I also have some theme features that I want to apply. So I want to ensure that it's a full site editing, uh, support for block patterns, I want to disable the custom color palette, disable the custom font size palette, sorry, custom font size option, and it needs to be responsive layout. And for images, I want to randomly select the HRF for from Pixum photos. So with all of that in mind, so save the file, that saves my rules, and I can just drag those rules in to my prompt. And I'm also gonna add the web here. Uh, and this is basically adding context to the prompt that I'm about to give it. So I want to use the web, I want to use my rules. I also want to use the WordPress docs, which is that one there. Now you can do shorthand, go docs, 
and then WordPress. And that's the official docs for WordPress. Now I've got an image off screen here, which I'm just gonna drag in, which is just a screenshot of a, a site that I like the look of. Um, so I'm just gonna drop that in there. So I've got I've given it basically four contact context prompts. So now all I need to do is actually give it a prompt, bearing in mind that my rule set is, is quite specific. So using the attached PNG as inspiration for layout, color, fonts, and spacing, apply the rules to create a new block theme. So I'm gonna use the agent Claude 3.5, Sonnet, because 3.7 is a little bit wild, a bit weird, and I wouldn't even bother with chat GPT-4. Uh, just in my experience, 3.5 is good. Uh, so let's send that to the AI and see what happens. So you can see here, it's, it's gone off to the web and it's looked look for inspiration, I guess. Um, it's looking at various references to blocks and patterns, frequently asked questions. Uh, and now it's prompting me to create a folder in my theme folder, in my content folder yet. So I'll run that. So I'm guessing in here, I should now have, oh, there you go, started to build it already. Um, so it's given me a style sheet and it's now generating the theme.json file. So let's just review this. I can see the custom font palette has been set to false, which is what I wanted. Font size as well as set to false. That means that you won't be able to select a, a random or a custom font size. It's using clamp, which is what I've asked for, which is good. Um, it's set my layout content width to 900 and wide width to 1200. It's also applying the clamp to my spacing sizes, which is what I asked for, which is great. Setting up some generic styles and also some element styles and then it's gone on to build the functions.php file. So it's adding some theme support, which I didn't actually ask it for, but it's gone ahead and done that, which is fine. Um, it's adding, okay, so adding some pattern categories. Yeah, that's fine. So it's built the HTML for the header, and it's hard-coded the navigation, that's fine. And it's built the footer. Let's have a look. Again, it's a hard-coded navigation, which is fine for a starting point. And now it's gone ahead and done the front page. So I just want to check the front page and make sure it's using... Okay, yeah, so the image references are coming from Pixum photos, which is good. That will give some structure. So look, so it's built the index HTML file. Um, pagination, yeah, and it's going to fall back for no post found. That's good. Now it's trying to build the single HTML file. So I'm guessing these are all, yeah, these are all populating already in the theme folder. So that was, that was a single file. It's pretty good. And there's a page. So the page is pretty simple. Just made up of a title, featured image and content. That kind of makes sense. And then finally the archive page. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, and then it's just given me a review, a summary of what it's actually done. So I think that's finished now. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Accept all of those. So now I've got a theme with all, everything in it. So a basic structure basically. So now I'm going to go back to the, my site and this, this will have logged me out. Okay. So we've got, <laughs> we've got a structure now. <laughs> It looks very bootstrappy, but but it's a structure, right? So let's log in and see see what templates we've got. Um, themes editor. So templates. Okay, so that's pretty. What's that? My page. Yeah. Okay, that's a basic page. There's some contrast issues here, so it didn't it didn't do it a great job of that, but it's given me a structure. So let's have a look at the front page. Now uh, I wanted to check the responsiveness. I know that it did add clamp, but let's have a look to see what's how it's working. So there may well be some adjustments that you need to make. It doesn't look like clamp is actually doing anything or it's, it's probably so tiny. We can't actually see it working or in action, but anyway, it's a, it's a structure. Um, let's turn that off. So would I use it? I probably wouldn't use this as it is out of the box, but it, it would I adapt it? Yeah, I think I would. Uh, I'd need to make some adjustments. Sure. But it's built a theme in what, less than 10 minutes. Something that would take me maybe, I don't know, half an hour, an hour or so, faffing about debugging things, you know, in the theme.json file. Um, let's have a look at this. So it's done some weird uh, image sizes. Let's make that square, get rid of that, make that square. I'll do the same for that. Now, I'm, I'm just starting to go in and tweak this now um, as a structure. So let's just have a look at the, if I close that, I wanna show you the actual inspiration that I used. So this is gonna kind of be a little bit off screen. So it has actually picked up the, the language, uh, which is 
I could probably add that to the prompt to specifically take um, turn any language into English from any inspiration I give it, but that's down to me. <clears throat> but it's a starting point. So it's given me some rounded images, which is fine. The button, I think that's a button. It is a button, but it's not styled it maybe in the right way. Yeah, okay, I'll make the text white, white. Okay, there you go. Um, let's go back to that. So what's that? That's given me something. I don't know what that is. That's product logos, I think. And then a footer. So it's missed out some of this, these pages, but the colors, I can see where the colors are coming from. So yeah, I mean, that took less than 10 minutes. So yeah, like I said, would I use it? Probably not. Would I adapt it? Probably, absolutely. So there you go. That's um, how I built a WordPress block theme in 10 minutes or so using only Cursor AI. So what do you think? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Uh, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. Um, and I'm really excited about using Cursor AI. And I'll probably do some more videos like this. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.